wabarakatuh. Selamat pagi, very good morning, salam sejahtera, salam satu Malaysia. Coming from the ministry, I should say all this, okay? And I think I need to start from, uh, I mean, using Bahasa Malaysia dulu, and then we get into our English version of it, okay? I need to do that because Nanti Abang Rais Yatim marah ha? If you don't speak in bahasa <laughs> Okay, jadi saya pertamanya nak uh, mengiktirafkan kehadiran kawan-kawan baik saya sebenarnya Semuanya kawan baik daripada dulu lagi yang berbagi Adatin Halimah Mama Said, yeah? she is the president of the Society of Voices of, of Peace They call it PICO, okay? PICO And then of course, yang berbahagia Datuk Oh no, Professor, Doctor, not yet, Datuk, coming up soon. Farida Shah, also my very close friend, yeah. She is the Vice President of PICO and the Chairperson of the PICO Environment Forum. She is, she has been running around for this forum. She is the she is the one actually. So everything yang salah ke yang tak salah, dia lah yang bertanggungjawab. Okay. <laughs> Yang berbahagia Profesor uh, Madia Dr. Imawati, she is actually the KP or Ketua Pengarah, oh you are the Pengarah of this Pusat Science and this Pusat Science is actually under the Ministry of Science, Technology and last time env Environment, now it is Innovation. So I am the TKSU DASA. TKSU on policy and innovation from the ministry, yeah? So she is working under me. <laughs> she was feeling like a little bit uh, susah hati when the MC couldn't, uh, and, and Farida took over. But don't worry, we are here, even though I feel that actually we are, uh, I came from the ministry, we will always have all these protocol things, you know, whom you should say, whom you should address first. But within this, I think this crowd today, we forget about all those. Yeah. All right? Forget about our protocol, yeah? Because I think by doing this, then we can work better. This is what actually the way forward at the moment. If you talk to Tasri KSN, he is now talking about simplicity. So we must be simple and do not care too much about all this protocol, please. Although I am from the ministry, I am now here. Thank you very much, Prof, for inviting me here because I am actually part of, of you. Yeah, I am not an outsider. And to yang berbahagia Datuk Ramani Guru Sami, you must know her. I have been working with her since many, 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 many years. In fact, I have been, all these are all my friends here. Thank you very much. And KJ John. I know him, you know, all of, I think maybe you do not recognize me with my dodo. You used to see me like Farida. You know, the hair was like sometimes biru, hijau. But now I am in my dodo, but my jiwa, my heart is still the same, okay? Why I say my heart is still the same? Of course, Farida, I would like to, to thank you and congratulate all of you here. I mean, for organizing this event, yeah, uh, Irma, and uh, this is a very, very important event, I may say. You know why I say it is important? It is important because it has brought together all of you here. These are all the key and relevant actors with one purpose, and she has said it just now, to discuss key issues on how to build a green and clean environment. Not only to build, if we have already built, we need to strengthen our green and clean environment. And as I said just now, coming from Mosti, I don't think that the government can do this alone. There's no such thing. In fact, I think, uh, who is from the Ministry of Environment? You are, all right. Yes, and uh, I think a few of you that come from the Ministry. There is no way when you talk about environment, you talk about sustainable development, that actually we from the government can do it alone. Never. If you think that it is the government that is doing things, then you are so wrong. So very wrong. The government only can facilitate, but you are people, I mean all of the NGOs, civil society, business people, community groups, you are the people that actually the engine of all this. You propel. Otherwise then, it is going to be difficult if it is only government who is going to do this. So I read a little bit about what has been said by Ban Ki-moon. 
because Ban Ki Moon said that actually we need all of you. The smart and strategic partnerships among people, among organizations, among business, academia, scientists, civil society, and community groups, we must work together to create the future we want. This is the new, uh, it was said in the new uh, United Nations informal informal meeting, they are now, in fact, now they are having uh, interses intersessional in New York. They are talking about Rio plus 20. Okay, we are taking about they are talking about Rio plus 20, and I think how I wish all of us can go to Rio. I asked Farida just now, Rob, if you could, you must organize so that you can get first hand. I was fully involved in WSSD, the World Summit on Sustainable Development, held in Johannesburg. And I knew how it felt to be there, so that when you come back, you can make more different than you are going to make today, okay? Because you know why? What is happening to the world at the moment? I think all of us are aware that the Earth has warmed one degree in the past century. All of us know. And we are now seeing the dramatic effects. Oceans are rising, coral reefs are dying, species are disappearing, glaciers are melting. Extreme weather patterns have emerged. We have got heat waves, droughts, hurricanes, floods, all are occurring with greater frequency and greater intensity. There is no way, there is no silver bullet to address this problem. There is no one thing no one thing that we can do to solve this kind of problem. That's what I said just now. Every business, every home, every industry must do its share. And the choice is very, very clear. It's time to stop talking and just do it. That's just do it. That's what she said just now. It's a Nike. Just do it. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, to this event, it's an opportunity to reflect on how your voices and your ideas could advance the sustainable development debate, which is now ongoing. You are indeed part of the larger voice that champion the green and clean planet for future generations. I would like to remind you that on the 12th of March, today is the 21st, the 12th of March 2011, it was a 100-day countdown to the June's Rio Plus 20 conference. Rio Plus 20, 100 days, so by today, it is much, much less than 100 days. And Rio Plus 20 is going to be a very, very historic day and historic event in our life again for government leaders and thousands of other participants. Hopefully, some of us, some of us, Professor, will you please try to see, especially the women under NCWO, maybe you can try to talk to Ministry of Women, Family and Community Development. Normally we can take a few to be there because it is an important conference where we shape how the world adopts policies and measures that can promote prosperity and reduce poverty. Advance social equity and ensure environmental protection. If you remember the three pillars of sustainable development, sustainable development is not only about environment. Environment is one of the pillars. It's called uh, protection of the environment. But you have got another two pillars. These are the social development and also economic development. So it must come together. Yeah. So. I know that all of us cannot go to Rio. Maybe one or two of us can go to Rio. We can always be part of the of of the of that kind of movement. This uh, because over there, uh, you will see by yourself. And here we can do our part. I would like to share with you how encouraged I am when I was in fact looking into the internet and uh, surfing and searching, and I found. Whether they are here or not, Professor uh, Farida, they call themselves Green Crusaders. Have you ever heard? Green yes. Crusaders, yeah. I am so encouraged by their work because they are based in Malaysia. 
and they are now handling household waste and work with the recycling and waste management companies in our country. That is one of the ways to do things. And let me share with you, and you all can learn after this, even if you have the iPad, you can click on now to see on their website, Green Crusaders, what they have done. They have done the projects that have raised more than 79,000 Malaysia Ringgit for charity and saved 390 tons of waste from going to the landfill. This is amazing and this is great because waste such as rubbish that comes out of every household like paper, glass, bottles, aluminium cans, clothes, old clothes and even food scraps, they can be recycled. And I saw them, you know how they did it? It's amazing. It's very simple. I just can tell you, but please go back and see this. They have got like 10 pots. Okay, they put the scraps on the pots. They have a mosquito net like. They put the and put the soil on it. And then the next day you put it again, whatever scraps that you have, and put the soil on it. Put the soil on it. And the next week you do the second pot, pot the, the, the tent. Until you finish the tent, you come back to the first one. It is already being composed. You see? And yet you can use this for your plants. This is the old way of doing things. My God, it's so beautiful. You just imagine how many households we have in Malaysia. If all of us can do that, then we can really save the environment. Save the environment, okay? Another example I would like to share with you is about the trash bank. I think some of you might know this. Actually, it is a website that allows people to trade or sell their waste. Uh, where certain items that they don't want anymore, they will put it on the website. We can do that. They don't need that. For example, you are moving your house, you don't need all those old furnitures anymore. So what you do is you put it on the website. So someone's old things, someone's waste, becomes someone else treasure. You look at that. Because sometimes you can just take it, do not send it to the landfill. Because all those actually will produce chemicals, they leach out chemicals, yeah? So I would like also to, to say here that, uh, the, just to remind all of us that the stuff that we use in our daily lives are all derived from natural resources that are finite, okay? So we, if we keep on, for example, going consume and consume and consume as though everything is going to last forever, then we are wrong. Nothing can last forever. Nothing can last forever. So we must be aware that many resources that have been processed and produced with chemicals to become something that we use every day, for example, our cell phones, our furniture, it can be recycled, yeah? it can be used. Because if you send this to the landfills, it will take thousands and thousands of years to, re to, to degrade which would be harmful to the environment. So all this actually is very easy for us. Just go and surf on the internet. And we know, we know that Malaysia is very, very small uh, peninsula. Very small peninsula plus Sabah and Sarawak. We do not have enough land for all this. We are not like America. Who, America is so big. And yet, even America, they are very, very worried. Where are they going to? To, to, to bury all those. So now even businesses, I check and see, I learned, even businesses, they are doing this. They have embedded in their planning, for example, they have already embedded in their planning that environment, clean and green, is part of their business. So this is really, really very, very good. And I hope that uh, this forum today, uh, Harida, that you have arranged, will help all of us to sit down, to debate, to see, and even to support. If I may say, if you remember at home, pagi-pagi kita bangun, kita dengar, <coughs> surat kabar lama, newspaper lama, computer lama, telephone lama. You know why? Inside all these computer and phones, they have got things that they can take it out and recycle. So support them. Don't throw your newspapers anywhere you like. Don't throw your cell phones anywhere you like. There are a lot of things that we can do with that. And I sincerely hope that this forum will help participants to get a better understanding on the importance 
or to know how to handle waste uh, responsibly because it can be beneficial to our environment and well-being and also to our economy. I can say the last word is that all this that you are doing, Prof. Arida and the group, it makes sense, S-E-N-S-E, -S -E, and it makes sense, C-E-N-T-S as well. With that, thank you very much. Enjoy your forum. Thank you. Salam alaikum.